Good day, everyone. This is Paul Travitsky reporting for the Auburn University Green Team here in Lafayette, Louisiana. The date is October 1st, 2008, and we are meeting up with representatives from the TMD Group, and they are one of our sponsors that have donated their time and money to help us with our trip to Berkeley, California. We met with Mr. Chuck Davis, Chairman and CEO of TMD, and here's what he had to say about this unique company. See it today set up to handle liquid, liquid waste materials. When we say liquid waste, it's uh, anything from uh, off spec soft drinks, out of date soft drinks, uh, fruit juices, fruit drinks the same way, uh, syrups, uh, products such as candied yams, uh, dessert food uh, manufacturers like, uh, let's say, Little, Little Debbie Cake, we have high strength, high sugar strength waste drinks, the liquid portions of it. This unit has the ability to take those liquid waste streams and convert it to ethanol and uh, Corn, sugarcane, switchgrass, uh, and even algae have all been considered to bolster this country's efforts to end dependence on foreign oil by producing ethanol. But this Louisiana-based project has developed wastewater as our next fuel source. We started to look at the waste energy concept with the IMBR about three, three years ago. Uh, quickly, uh, as we looked at the process, um, it, it became evident that the IMBR, mobilized bioreactor system, was absolutely a perfect fit for the uh, alternative fuels industry. Uh, our goal, though, as we started out from day one, was to continue to develop uh, systems that would handle waste products, uh, primarily liquid systems to start with, then moving to cellulosic and synthetic gases, which we are working on today. Uh, but we think that the, that the, that the sky is the limit uh, for this system of those as we go into cities, municipalities, uh, large metropolitan areas, uh, we're constantly amazed at the amount of high strength waste products that haven't been disposed of. Uh, so it looks to us like the feed stocks are unlimited. Uh, and these systems can be, uh, from the day we decide to build one to the day we're producing ethanol, through permitting, engineering, and everything, it's about six months. We thank them for the support and moved on to Texas. We will meet with Cura Research and Development in Houston and then on to Texas A&M University in College Station. This is Paul Trevitsky for the Auburn University Green Team saying thanks for watching and goodbye for now.